In today's video, we're going to be looking at a few different cryptocurrencies, breaking down the technicals, what opportunities they may, there may lie, and where the market's heading. And also, going to be talking about my favorite topic at the moment, my favorite category, which I'm really into, and that's DAOs and how they are super beneficial in a time like this when the market's correcting. So let's not waste any time again straight into it. Cue the intro. Before we get started, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel and like this video. As I said many times, every like that I get, every sub that I get helps to feed a hungry dog on the street. It helps to home uh, a homeless orc in the di distant regions of Mordor and Middle Earth. So if you care about orcs and these lonely creatures, then go ahead and, and click the like button, click the sub button. would really appreciate that. With that out of the way, let's get straight into the market. Just a little general look at the total market cap and then we'll go ahead we're going to head into DAOs and the benefits of those organizations during these corrective periods and then we'll go ahead and analyze a few cryptocurrencies with the technical so the total market cap has dropped significantly from as high as i think th did it hit three trillion yeah it just tapped three trillion and then immediately reversed and it's lost as much as 36% which is equivalent to about 1.1 1.2 trillion dollars in the space of four weeks which is absolutely insane but of course the financial markets stock markets which are much bigger than the crypto market have lost even more value because the whole financial all the different markets stock markets have lost a lot of value hence why the crypto market has followed suit of course, there's a lot of negative sentiment in the market because of the new variants uh, and things of that nature, which has caused a lot of fear and, and uncertainty in the market. So that's why it seems to be depleting. But it has regained a bit of value. Well, actually, it has um, bounced very nicely from, from close to the support area and it has regained about 370 odd billion uh, getting it above the two billion market, the two billion mark, should I say? But it's still below this crucial resistance level, which unfortunately didn't become support. Hopefully, next week it's going to continue to increase, rally, and get above this area. Now, of course, this is the total market cap that's including Bitcoin, Ethereum, which you know the, the leaders. So these levels aren't exactly precise, but they're kind of general areas support and resistance so we can take that on board so it's lost a considerable amount of value but it has rebounded quite nicely from this area so let's see how it continues maybe it's going to go further down into these kind of regions support areas especially with bitcoin losing a lot of value one other thing i noticed is it seems that and i've mentioned this in the past bitcoin uh, ethereum has actually retained a lot of its value compared to bitcoin bitcoin has lost a lot more compared to ethereum and the rest of the altcoin market so that's why the dominance has actually dropped significantly in the last week and in the last several weeks from as high as 46 percent all the way down to almost 40 percent so bitcoin is definitely losing value as time goes on so the altcoins are sucking in more value whereas Bitcoin is losing. So that's an interesting uh, thing that we've observed. The other thing as well is I made a video about this. So click, go, go and click the previous video uh, about the Metaverse Index. For those that have missed the boat on the Metaverse, i.e. myself and maybe some others that didn't catch on quickly enough when Facebook made that change, which exploded the Metaverse world, there is an index that you can purchase a piece of which gives you a basket basically it's a basket of goods so there's the, the basically they've got several net metaverse tokens and protocols and coins that you know is it within within this basket and so when the metaverse increases in value overall you're going to benefit so you, you know instead of trying to handpick the correct coins you kind of get exposure to the whole category so fantastic index should really definitely have a look at that 
not financial advice. Now, getting to the kind of juicy part, and that is the decentralized organizations of which I've made a couple of videos about now. And these DAOs are so, so valuable during the bear market because, or obviously we're not in the bear market now, but during corrective periods, because when the market is correcting, you're still making money with these high APYs. And especially during corrective periods, when price drops the yield actually increases so it kind of balances you end up still making money or you're still breaking even at the very least during these corrective periods so as price goes down as the market corrects you're still making money the yield increases oh. as opposed to other coins of course if, it, if you lose money you lose money so you just have to kind of ride the wave and wait until it gets back to um, the previous highs so I've made videos about this before but there's a calculator that you can have a look at right so basically you can look at the price of the token so for example Spartacus right now again which I made a video about has lost value so previously it was 186 now it's 138 so at 138 if you pop that in here manual price and then the rebase rate we can check that out here just got to connect the wallet so this is on the phantom network so you got to move to phantom network so you move to the phantom network and it tells you how much the, the reward yield is so you just simply input that into here and it tells you how much you're gonna make per week per day per month so every week um, if you have 1.3 so if let's say if you have let's just make it simple one if you have one spa token you make $355 per week or $22 per day now let's say if you increase that to five you're making a hundred dollars a week simply by staking this and over 1800 or just under 1800 per month and per year 1.6 million which is crazy let's say you make 10 double that again you're making 220 dollars a week so imagine you know the market's correcting you're still making money really which is insane that's why i highly highly advise you to have a look at these DAOs you know at least allocate a small portion of your portfolio to these DAOs now let's have a look at climber token now all of these are on different platforms some on the phantom network some are on harmony and some are on polygon so this one is on the polygon network so again you see kind of the rebase rate so this token it's got much higher market cap i think it's about five six hundred million market cap as opposed to Spartacus, which is about 100 to 150. So the rebase rate is going to be a bit lower, 0.52. So you're not going to make as much money from this token. Let's find out how much it's worth. 670. Pop that in manually. So every week from having 10, which is obviously going to be about 6.7 grand you're going to make 770 per week 10,300 per month or 105 dollars per day now that's if you had 10 if you had one which is it just 670 dollars you make about you make a lot less so 77 per week a uh, thousand per month so because the rebase rate is lower 0.52 and then the price token is a bit higher overall you make a bit you make less per per day per week so you've got to bear that in mind but of course when the market cap is a bit higher doesn't necessarily mean it's less risky but at the same time a lot more people are trusting the community is bigger so you've got to factor that we're, we're supposed to Spartacus it's a smaller project so I guess there's more risks involved so you've got to bear that in mind before you kind of ape in and put all your eggs in this basket we put five tokens which is about four three thousand 
3,500 maybe. You make about 385, 5K a week. Now, lastly, we have WAGMI. I forgot what the actual acronym stands for, but it's uh, Euphoria and it's on the Harmony network. I already know the AP, uh, the rebase rate, and it's actually at, it's 0.82. So if you pop that in here, 0.82, which is the highest out of the three today, of course, there's a lot more risk involved because it is a smaller project, but if it's 0.82, we look at how much. So we have Wagmi, right? Market cap 185 million. So actually, it's actually a little bit higher than Spartacus. And the price is 1,281, right? So we pop that into the calculator. Right, let's say we have five, which is about six grand. That's gonna make you about $158 per day. Per week, that's $1,200. Per month, that's $21,000. Per year, $48 million. Yeah. Now, of course, it's nice to look at, it's nice to look at that massive number, 48, 49 million. It's not gonna stay like this, the bigger it gets. If it, if it, if the market cap stayed this, this price, or this level, and the, and the price of the token remained the same, and the rebase rate remained the same for the entire year, you would make that money. But realistically, it reduces over time. The bigger it gets, it reduces more and more. So it's unlikely gonna remain that level. If it did though, that's how much you'd make in us five token. Let's try one token, and that's $1,200. One token would provide you $30 a day, $240 per week. 4,200 or 4,300 per month and 10 million for the year. That's still very good for $1,200 invested. Let's try two tokens, right? So two tokens, you're making almost $500 a week from staking. That's a lot of money. That's a decent income. You know, you can actually, you can live of that per month. That's nine grand a month. You can literally live of that. That's a, a, a substantial income. So again, you know, I'm gonna move over to the technicals now, but I state the importance of these protocols, these DAOs. I really think this is the beginning of, well, it is DeFi 2.0, just how, you know, you had the, the Uniswaps and the Sushi Swaps and the one inch, that explosion in the descent, De DeFi uh, category. This is the, the next level, so. Don't sleep on this, have a look at it, really understand it, and then hopefully you know, you'll, you'll allocate a portion of your portfolio to this. Now over to the technical. Right, quick look at Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, obviously Bitcoin lost a lot of value in the last three weeks, especially this week. Massive drop in value, went all the way down to 4,200, which I've said is one of the key support areas right here. Since then it's bounced significantly from that going above the important level of 42 and then 45. Unfortunately, it's just in the precipice of 49. If you can get above this or even just close around this level, potentially it can be enough to kind of start the next week of nice and then break past 52 and start kind of the, the rebound and the next rally towards all time highs once again. Now this is three, four weeks of correction. That's a significant amount of time. The next cycle hopefully will start from the next week on, but it's not guaranteed. If it continues to drop below 48, 49, then we will most definitely see 42, 45, sorry. And then we will see 42, 43 as the next level so that it will use a support. Moving on. Next, we have Ethereum. Now, as I've said, Ethereum and the altcoin, or mainly Ethereum, has lost only a little bit of value compared to Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin lost about 40%. Ethereum has only lost, uh, or currently, it's only down 15% from all time highs. That's a big deal. Uh huh. The altcoins holding much more value than Bitcoin, which is a, a very interesting thing to note. It shows the shift to altcoins essentially. And it is above a very important level of 3,900, 4,000. You can see clear highs, so it's above that. If you can hold that, it can potentially you know, bounce further and then move 
into a rally, into an uptrend. This candle right here is a bit mixed. Now it is showing a lot of buy side pressure, but we need to see a nice green candle now to solidify this surge, the uptrend. Moving on to the altcoins. We have Polkadot first. Polkadot, my goodness, talk about a punch in the gut. This was a massive, massive drop in value. And again, on why I always stress to take profit, I made a note in my private telegram group. Guys have taken some profit and this was around $50. $50. After this massive surge, I'm like, this is going to turn around soon. And this is the case with every crypto. Of course, some will keep going. It might have gone an extra 10, 20%. But it's, that's why it's always important to take profit. And these lessons, the more you solidify them, the better chance you have of actually catching the top when it's the the major top, as in the end of the bull run. This is how it's going to be at the end of the bull run. It's going to go, you know, up and up and up. Absolute euphoria to the moon and beyond Mars level. And when it gets to that level, you need to learn, OK, it's gone up a lot now. It surely can't go up forever. I'm going to take some profit. I'm good. I'm done. Let's take some money out. Okay. So Polkadot has dropped. Of course, it's turned around. But this, and this was a, probably some manipulation, but 70%, that's crazy. But even now, it's still down 50% from the previous highs. What can we see now? There is a support level right here at $25 and then even just below that there's a high around 24 so this area let's delete that this area right here it's unlikely to go any further than that if it does extremely bearish but it's unlikely to go below this area so this will be the support zone for Polkadot to turn around and start building again this could be a very good thing though. There could be light at the end of this tunnel because of course he had this massive rally and what goes up must come down. So now it's got, it's, it's all the bulls are out of the picture or all the bears could be out of the picture and this could give it enough fuel to kind of turn around and really, you know, turn around and go on the offense again. Now, if we had a Fibonacci from the bottom to the top, very possible. It's right now perfectly sitting on the 618 level. If it can turn around from this area, this could be a very bullish move and we could see 62, 76, 83. This could be the levels that that's gonna reach. Now potentially it could be, now this is also looking very accurate. From the bottom to the top right here, we had the 50% level tapped, just shy of a 618. And it kept kept going. The 0.27 extension, and then finishing at the 786. So this actually looks perfect, absolutely perfect. So this is probably more likely the the Fibonacci that was in play rather than this one right here. But let's see, let's see how it reacts around this level. If it bounces, maybe creates a bottom here, then I would say this is definitely in play. So let's keep an eye on this. If you look at Atom, similar situation. Made a new all-time high, took some profit. Nothing's gonna go up forever. And what happened, it starts to correct. Now you can't time these things, but when something goes up exponentially, it's time to take profit. Unfortunately, it's gone below a very important level of $30. And this, this is because of the climate, the current financial climate, very bearish. And now what can we expect? The next major levels are gonna be the highs right here. $25, it should not go below that. And even below, we've got another high right here at $20, 20 $21. So I'd say this is going to be the support zone. Anything below this is extremely bearish. If we can hold it though, bullish. I expect it to carry on going up and then break above $28, 28 to $30 once again. But this candle looks quite uncertain. So I expect maybe for it to go further down, bounce around this area and then start to turn around. RMRK doing very well absolute exponential rise since its beginning two dollars all the way to fifty fifty five dollars 
and got as high as $69. Crazy, crazy gains. Sim so this is a, a pre-Polkadot, a pre-Cosmos level as I've just described. One, two, three waves. Now, I am a small fan of LUA theory, and this looks like the third wave of a uh, five wave move. So I think that this is probably at the end of its rally. Now, of course, this is a new crypto, so potentially could go further. But I would, I would say that this is going to be more probability that this is at the end of a rally rather than or a five wave move rather than another big wave coming up. Could obviously be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. So if you want to get involved in this project, I would definitely say dollar cost average because it can keep going up. But I would say dollar cost average because I think it probably keep going down. 38 is going to be big level. If it goes below that, there's going to be a little bit of a, another level below that 33. And then if that doesn't hold, that could easily, easily break this floor and go all the way down to $10. But there's going to be some big round numbers in the way, i.e. $25. So I'd say 25 is a big round number. And then 20 and so on. So I would say with RMRK, personally, I wouldn't get in at this point. But if you really like the project, dollar cost averaging is the way. Because of course, it can always keep going. That's the thing. Crypto can always keep going higher and higher. Solana is one of my, my biggest, you know, misses. Because even at 100, 150, I thought, okay, you know, it's probably near, near the end of its rally, near, near the end of its uptrend. But it just, keep, it just kept going forward and forward. 200, 220, 250. I'm like, this is insane. Then it finally corrected. But now it's, it's averaging just around 200 and 200 plus. So I would say with this, probably looking like it's near the end of its rally, but um, the support levels are going to be around $40, 30 35 and then $20, $25. Right, so now we have decentralized mana. So it seems to be respecting the levels. I think I made a lot more drawings on the daily. Perfect respect of the levels. Now, I'm not sure when I, I think I made the, the breakdown around this area and of course it was on a very good run and potentially could have carried it on however it wasn't able to break past the newfound resistance at five dollars and change broke below in the last week and, and two wasn't able to hold the next resistance and turn it to support broke below that massive massive wick obviously there's manipulation going on there but now it is holding a very clear key level around three dollars and sixty cents so if you can hold that level then potentially we could see another move to the upside but we want to see of course is for it to hold it and then break past 420 at some point but the main thing is to hold this level if it doesn't hold that level of four 350 this area right here 360 then now we've got some like semi levels around here 320 I'll tell you the next main level is going to be this low right here at 270. It is potential, it's possible, should I say, that it can drop from up to 40%, even further down to 50%. That's not for, for an altcoin, that's, an, that's not too much. That is definitely not too much. Polkadot, as an example, it's a top 10, top 5 crypto. It's lost 50% right now. So if you think Polkadot can lose 50%, Decentralized can definitely lose 50%. So let's see. It's had a nice, nice uptrend. If we draw the Fib from the bottom to the top. You know, it's just below the 50% level from, from this area and here from here. We, I like to do it from candle, from the top candle body to the candle body. So, you know, it's just below the 50 level and the 618 is next, so just bear that in mind. We'll finish off with KDA. And of course, it had a absolute monster run from September to the beginning of November, 770X. Yeah, 70X, which is insane. Uh, and 
now it's beginning to correct finally so from the top it's lost about 50 percent down to the wick 67 percent i mean it's looking likely that uh, it can easily go to the next major level of seven dollars it's not guaranteed but with thing is with with a massive run like that you know the correction is going to be of somewhat equal magnitude so it can easily carry on down to this level of six dollars only 50% from where it is now. I definitely think that, you know, with this kind of run, there's going to be at least a week or two more of correcting. And obviously, it's not guaranteed, but I would say this this might this might not might not be the end of the correction. On the daily time frame, we can look at this level as new found support, uh, resistance. Should I say, if it rejects from this level, it's definitely going to carry on going down. And I would say on the daily time frame we can expect 750 to be the next level. Now, if it closes at this point, I've got a nice little low right here. But this could be a situation of a dead cat bounce because again that run was so so magnificent, so much. It could easily be a dead cat bounce. We could see a drop, little rally, hit resistance, drop again, and smash through this all the way down to seven, seven, ten, seven twenty, whatever, around seven dollars. So be careful with this one. So we'll end this video there. I know you got some value from that. There's always a ton of value in there, especially about the Dow. So I just wanna re-emphasize the point about Dows during corrective and bearish periods. Because with Dows, now there's obviously risks involved in that, but you're still making money, especially with these crazy high APYs. Have a look at some of the ones that I've mentioned, Euphoria. Spartacus climb. There's still new ones coming out. Again, this is DeFi 2.0. Think back to Uniswap, Sushi Swap, Pancake Swap. All these new projects that were coming around that time because of the new category that was being formed. So this is the same. Expect more to come out, and just be careful. Don't ape in. Don't FOMO in. Just take it a little, little by little. And dollar cost average. Stake, stake the hell out of these new DAOs. And you can make some decent returns while everything else is correcting. I'll leave it there. See you in the next one. Peace.